Hey, it's Jeremy with Red Hawk Coaching. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, this is day seven of the 365 Driven Video Challenge, and there are no rules other than we just have to post a video each day and report back in that we had accomplished that. So uh, today I want to talk a little bit about a, a, a situation yesterday and, and a, a comment that was made, and I'm looking down at my phone to make sure I get it right. Uh, Sandra Marconi, uh, she's a top agent with Keller Williams Memorial downtown Houston, a great friend. Uh, we were both addressing uh, this this topic on this page, this Facebook group, where somebody that was new to sales was coming in. Uh, they didn't have a lot of experience, or they didn't have any business yet, and they were stepping into the into the sales world, and they were coming in with a lot of debt that they were needing to take care of, what as well as the mortgage on their home. And this particular house, I believe was in Florida, had appreciated in value over the last few years by like 50 or $60,000. So the question was, do I go and borrow against uh, the new value of the home and then use that money to pay down debt? And I thought that was absolutely the worst decision you could make. Because here's what could happen is the market turns and you're forced to sell your home. And at that point, you owe more on the home than what it's worth. And so it can get a lot of people in trouble. It happened a lot back in 2008 through 2010, 2012, even in some areas where people got upside down in their homes. So the worst thing in this case would be to borrow debt to pay for debt. And my suggestion was, is just change your lifestyle. You know, change some of the things that you're doing. You'd be surprised how much money you can find just by giving up the daily Starbucks or not going out to eat every day. Or you know, maybe you have the grand papoose of, of cable um, likings where you have HBO and Showtime and everything. And maybe you just go down to the basic package or you have unlimited data on your phone, which you know, maybe you don't need that. And so there's, there's different areas when we really start evaluating our finances where we can go, go back in and and make make adjustments to where we can now take that money and apply it to to possibly debt. And I've been there. I've been in um, a place where you know we we struggled, especially when I had launched my real estate business and was entering sales, and that and that was challenging. And we had to to make you know a substantial amount of sacrifices in order to to carry on. Yet we didn't go borrow more money to pay down our debt. We just figured out how to reallocate our money and make make better decisions. And the quote I wanted to get to that Sandra shared with me was, you know, live like no one else so that one day you can live like no one else. So in other words, you know, you might not be able to live like everybody else today. You may have to make those sacrifices and those those changes to the way that you're spending your money so that one day you can live like no one else and be able to have those things that you've you've dreamed of and you've worked hard for. And it just takes an adjustment. Yes, it, it might include a little bit of pain, yet it'll be far worth worth it when you get to the other side. And so I want you to, I want you just to remember that. Today, live like no one else so that one day you can live like no one else. And thank you, Sandra Marconi, for sharing that. Um, I told you I was gonna steal it and use it. Uh, it's, a great, it's a great line and one that we should really pay attention to and really look at uh, where we're placing our money in our lives and in our businesses. Uh, sometimes there might be a better place to, to put it, especially in paying down debt. So have a great day. If you felt um, this was a worthy share, then share it with somebody that might need to hear this message today. Have a great and a blessed day. Take care.